Okay. All right, YouTube, what's going on, everybody? So in this video today, you know what I'm saying? Um, the Lord got us talking about the food. You know what I'm saying? As you see by the, the thumbnail of the video, you see the, the fruit on the left, and then you see the fruit on the right side. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm going to check right quick, make sure everything live. I'm, on, I'm live on... Um, YouTube and I'm live on Facebook. Yep. Okay. So like I said, uh, y'all see I got my lovely wife, my lovely wife here with me. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna be doing this video together. So I'm going to pray, you know what I'm saying? Um, and I feel like the Lord want me to shed light on a lot of this stuff, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. Give me a hand. Let's pray. So, Lord, I thank you for this day. I thank you for this time, Lord Jesus. I pray, Father God, that your word will go forth. And I ask that you would let your word go forth like a hammer. And I ask, Lord God, so I'm going to tell you what I see. I see um, a lion in the spirit. You know what I'm saying? It says that Jesus Christ is the lion of Judah. He's seated on the, 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 the throne of David on the right hand of the Father. You understand what I'm saying? God is El Shaddai, Elohim, Abba the Father, the great God Almighty. That's who he is. And that's who he will always continue to be. Regardless of what people think about who God is and why he does the things that he does. And watch this. I, I keep seeing fruits in the spirit. See, in the Bible talks about when you had the Holy Spirit, you got the fruits of the spirit. But also, God wants you to bear much fruit in the physical as well. Watch this. I see people with, with uh, like bags and there's seeds in the bags and they... If you ever seen like in a cartoon, they walk, they grab the seeds out the bag, they scatter them. They walk, grab the seeds out the bag, they scatter them. They walk, grab the seeds out the bag, they scatter them. See, it's a scripture that the Lord has shown me. So later on in the video, I'm going to bring up the video. I'm going to bring up the scripture that the Lord has shown me. But it's about scattering seed and sowing what the Lord is going to reap. So what y'all got to realize in this season, God, regardless of what happens, God is going to reap and he is going to sow, okay? But it's a, it's a revelation behind it. So the spirit going to lead. So, Lord, I ask that you sit. Okay, hold on. And but I was about to end the prayer. The Lord said, don't end the prayer. The Lord said, y'all going to reap what y'all sowed in this season, whether it be good or bad. Watch this. The Lord said that it's harvest time. But it's also a coming harvest time at the end of the world, at the end of the age. It's going to be a separation from the wheat, from the tares, and the sheep, and the goats. It's going to be a separation that's going to take place. Okay. It's going to be a separation that's going to take place. And this separation, I'm going to tell you exactly what's going to happen. The separation that's going to take place is a separation of God's children and the enemy's children. It's going to be of God's true pastors and preachers and, and apostles and evangelists and Satan's pastors, preachers, evangelists, false prophets. It's going to be rising all that in Jesus' name. So, Lord, we seal this prayer and ask that you would bless this word in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So, I'm going to look at, um, give me one second. Are you moderating? Can you turn it down just a little bit? Just a little bit. Okay, so this what um this what the Lord this what the Lord is saying. Okay. So I want y'all I want y'all to understand something. The reason why I'm coming on here, because I was supposed to do this video early, but we had stuff to do. So this is what I want y'all to understand. This is what the Holy Ghost is saying in this hour. Y'all see by the title of the thumbnail, obviously what you see is this right here. You see. The fruits on the left, which is in abundance, but then you got the fruits on the right, 
and you see it's a needle that's injecting the tomato. Okay. This is what the Lord is telling me to tell y'all right now. This is a stray word from the Lord. You can take it to the bank. You can take it to prayer. You tell the Lord about it. You talk to the Lord about it. GMOs is man-made. GMOs is of the devil. GMOs is not of God. I don't care what nobody say. I'm not debating it. GMOs is not of the Lord. Okay? I'm going to tell you what the Lord is showing me in a vision right now. What people fail to realize, they building their own, not building, they growing their own food in a lab. They got lab-grown meat. They got lab-grown vegetables. Okay? My wife, she the one that told me the other day, she said she saw a video. It was an apple the lady had in the store. It was an apple in the store, and it was a, a, a peel on the apple that said organic. And then when she removed it, it said GMO. Okay? The food cannot be trusted in this season. Now, I'm going to shit. The Lord lead me to share what the Lord got me doing. The Lord got me staying away from red meat. He got me staying away from steak. Because he told me in this season, a lot of their food is going to be tainted. It's not going to be real. It's, it's, it's going to be a lot of stuff in it that don't need to be up inside of there. Okay? It ain't good for you. That's what people fail to realize. Just because it say USDA approved, ooh, watch this. That don't guarantee no type of safety for you or for your family. Or... For your taste, but or for your body, for your organs. Okay? So, you got your Bible? Yeah, go get it, please. Okay, grab it right there. Grab it right there. So, go to Genesis chapter 1, and then go to verse 29. So I want you to read. So I want y'all to follow along with us. Y'all got your Bible? Go to um, Genesis. So Genesis, Genesis chapter 1 verse 29 says, And God said, Behold, I have given you every herb bearing seed, which is upon the face of all the earth, and every tree. Let me just go. Uh, where did I leave off at? Oh, and... And every tree, and the which is the fruit of a tree yielding seed, to you it shall be for meat. Okay. Remember, I was telling you about. Yeah. Um, so, if the Lord puts anything in your heart, just say what He, you know, speaking to you, whatever. Okay. Um, you yeah. Reading. And to every beast of the earth, meaning animal, and to every fowl of the air, meaning birds, and to everything that creepeth upon the earth wherein there is life so anything living i have given every green herb for meat and it was so and god saw everything that he had made and behold it was very good and the evening and the morning were the sixth day so i'm going to explain to you the revelation that the lord gave me and then what I'm going to do, I'm simply just going to let her speak because I already know the Lord is going to place things on her heart. Okay. So let me explain to you. So when I got home today, the Lord was speaking to me. He told me to go to that verse right there. So I opened up my Bible. I went to that verse. He said, stop as soon as I read verse 29. Okay. Let me explain something to you. If you look at back in the old... So let me see. So if you look at back in Genesis, when Adam and Eve was in the garden, first of all, the Lord said that they meat, it was it was fruits and vegetables. It wasn't it wasn't like animal meat. It wasn't flesh. They meat was fruits and vegetables. That's what they ate. That's what they was eating on a daily basis. Now see, this is the other thing too. And it was good. This is the other thing too. Okay. What people need to realize is Okay, does God want people to be vegan? Well, think about it like this. What was God's original plan? It was for Adam and Eve to make babies in the garden, to be in peace with God forever, to eat grass, fruits, vegetables, whatever. That was his original plan. Notice how animals wasn't eating each other. The carnivores, the lions, you know what they was eating? They was eating grass. 
It said it was for all. It, it said it wasn't just for us. It was for all the animals, all of God's creation. Everything that grew from the ground, he made it so that they could eat plants. Okay? Now, this is the thing. Do you have to be vegan? No, you don't have to. But you do need to watch what you eat in this season. Because I'm going to tell you this. It's coming a time where the, the main things that's going to be corrupt is the meat. I'm going to tell you how I know. 99% of America, what's the main thing that they eat every single day? It's some type of meat. Whether it be turkey, whether it be chicken, whether it be fish, whether it be beef, steak, whatever. Okay? Did you know, and this, this, watch this, Lord even show me this. You know, you, my, this, and my wife actually was, was speaking to me about this. Did you know you can't even trust, uh, like, certain fish sometimes, like salmon? Because a lot of the stuff, because this is what she told me. She told me, when you go in certain stores, what they do, they have the meat out. And they put certain dyes on it to make the color look brighter. Okay? First of all, you're not supposed to do that because that dye is bad. If y'all ever heard of Red 40, that stuff is horrible. I'm going to tell you what it is. If you look up what Red 40 is, see, they, they, they removed it now. But I looked it up before they removed it. It's a bug. It's actually a beetle. They take the beetle. They kill the beetle. They crush it. And it releases like a red dye. And that's what they use. It's in, it's in, it's in Cheetos. It's in Cheetos. It's in Skittles. It's in Pop-Tarts. It's in a whole bunch of stuff that it don't need to be in. Did you know that Pop-Tarts, they banned in other countries? Did you know Skittles, they banned in other countries? I bet a lot of y'all ain't even know that. Because of the ingredients, okay? Now, see, this is another thing I want y'all to understand, too, okay? When it comes to God, it's certain things that people got to realize. I'm going to give you a prime example. This is what people got to realize, okay? When it comes to God, certain things got to take place. I'm going to give you a prime example, okay? If God is telling you, Okay, hey, I want you to eat X, Y, and Z. You got to eat X, Y, and Z. What you can't do is say, you know what? I want to eat this other stuff. Because, see, I'm going to tell you what happened. It got to a point. I mean, I remember I was, he, he, he had been telling me, he said, I need you to cut back on the meat. I said, okay. And I started eating steak and red meat again. And I kept throwing up. And I, and I kind of feel like as I'm talking right now, I'm talking to myself because I feel like the Lord was allowing that had to happen to my body because he was letting me know this, this meat that you eating, it can't be trusted in this season, okay? Even when it comes to this right here, the fruits, the vegetables, mm -hmm. the stuff is tainted, the stuff is bad, the stuff is not good, you know what I'm saying? And this is what I'm saying. Am I saying all this stuff? No. I'm going to give you a prime example. A place that you should not get your produce at is Walmart. Okay? That's one of the places that you should not get your produce at is Walmart. Okay? So, Lord, I pray, I ask that you help me focus in the spirit. Help me just focus on the message. Okay? Help me focus on the message. And I feel the Holy Ghost. I feel the Holy Ghost fire. The Lord is here. The Lord said, watch this. It's important to watch what you eat in this season. Okay, now this is another thing, too. For anybody that, that, that's trying to grow their own garden, because growing your own food is going to be essential in this season. It's necessary. It's essential. Look, y'all remember what I told you? What day was that? That was yesterday. The Lord said, what's going to be necessary is a chicken coop, a gun, water, Canned goods. What was the other stuff I said? I can't remember the other stuff I said. Oh, a satellite phone, a generator, flashlights. Because I told y'all, they're going to cut the power. When they cut the power, if you don't have a satellite phone, if they cut the power, you're not going to be able to call nobody. They about, I'm telling you right now, they're about to cut the power. They're about to cut the power. Now, this is another thing that I'm trying to tell y'all, okay? They poison in the air. I'm going to say it again. The people, they poison in the air. So watch this. If you're going to grow your own fruits and vegetables, 
Because I told my wife this. The Lord showed me a vision. I'm going to tell you what I'm saying. You're going to need a greenhouse. If you don't have a greenhouse, you better not eat. You better not even touch them fruits and vegetables. Now, I'm not going to say don't touch them, but what I'm saying is you better be extremely careful with them things because I'm going to tell you exactly what's going to happen. If you don't have some type of greenhouse, some type of like dome or building to cover your fruits and vegetables, it's going to be bad for you. It's going to be bad for you. Okay. Because what, what, what's going to happen is the last thing you want is your, 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 your fruits and vegetables, your produce. You don't want it to go bad. You don't want it to get poisoned because they putting stuff inside. Um, what's a good way to put it? They putting stuff inside the fruits and vegetables to kill people. Okay. I'm going to give you a prime example. I'm going to give you a prime example. If you look at, okay, my friend, he sent my friend Jalen, he sent me a video. This lady cut the watermelon in half. Foam started coming out the watermelon. And I bet you they got their freaking watermelon from Walmart. Okay? I guarantee you $100 they got their watermelon from Walmart. That's why you ain't supposed to do that. Okay? That's why you ain't supposed to do that. I'm telling you right now. A lot of the fruits and vegetables that you see. See, let me tell you something. The main, okay, I'm going to give you a good example. Depending on where you live, they got certain grocery stores. But I'm pretty sure every, every, every state got a Whole Foods. And this season, let me tell you something. You should not be getting your produce from Kroger. You should not be getting your produce from Walmart. You should be getting your produce from Whole Foods. Or a nice grocery store. Like an H-E-B. A Whole Foods, Trader Joe's, Sprouts, the farmer's market. You want to look for authentic places to get your fruits and your vegetables. Because if you just go to any rundown, like, don't get your fruits and vegetables from the 99-cent grocery store. Don't do that. Don't do that. Because this is the thing. Cheap food, you're going to see why it's cheap. It's going to start reacting in your body. I'm telling you right now, the food cannot be trusted in this season. And I'm telling you right now. People, let me tell you something. You shouldn't be going to Wendy's every day, McDonald's, Burger King, um, what's another one? Taco Bell, uh, Whataburger, Jack in the Box. You know what I'm saying? Because them places, they 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 bad for you. It's the reason why the Lord says our body is a temple. We are supposed to treat our our, our temple like how. Let me ask you something. Do you think Jesus Christ would be going to McDonald's every day if he was here right now? Like, how would that look if Jesus was pulling up in a car, pulling up right next to McDonald's to drive through? Everything that God made, think about this. She sold me a video. Why is it that we paying for food that, 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 that God put in the ground? fruits vegetables why are we paying for food that god gave us for free think about how that sound why are we paying for food that we gotta all we gotta do is pick and grow it in our backyard why are we paying for that because this is what i hear the lord saying stop relying on the government for everything grow your own fruits grow your own vegetables stop relying on man to give you everything stop relying on man to supply all your needs when the lord said i'm the one that supply all your needs according to christ jesus and his riches and his glory and his power mm, i hear you lord robo yeah you can take it feel like he said you got something to say um hi everybody so like about the food one of the things that i wanted to um warn people about is um, and the only reason why this is the first thing I'm talking about is because this is recent and it's gonna like it's already showing up in a lot of the stores is um, I know you guys know who Bill Gates is and I know you guys know the things that he like is funded like that he funds um, and one of them being one of the vaccines but anyways um, he came up with something called appeal and it's a coating like a wax coating or like a like chemicals or whatever that he puts around um like fruits and vegetables and it depends on what stores you go to but he's it's basically like to preserve 
the shelf life, but we already know preservatives and stuff like that is kind of bad unless you're using a natural preservative. But um, he has like, well, first of all, we don't know what that this coating is that he's putting in our food or around our food. But I wanted to warn you guys to, you can Google it even what store, or maybe even call the stores before you grocery shop if you're buying produce and ask if they carry appeal products because a lot of places do, but there are places that don't. Like, I don't know if you guys have an HEB, but I know HEB for sure doesn't carry them. And I don't think Costco does neither. Um, but just be very careful when you buy your produce, where you're getting your produce from, because they're using like, yes, there's a lot of GMO. Um, they're using GMO. We already know that, but there's different coatings and there's different stuff that they're trying to put over our food as well. So like, it'll say organically grown, but then they'll put a peel coating around it. So just be careful. Um, Another thing I wanted to say was, what was it? So I know you covered a lot of the stuff that I told you about. Um, you say whatever. You oh yeah, like it, like I feel like this year, um, the Lord is gonna have a lot of people um, and a lot of women specifically learning how to do things from scratch. And I feel like there might be some of you guys the Lord been telling you, been like trying to nudge on you about that lately. But this year, you should really look into it because when you go to the grocery store for something as simple as bread, if you look at the ingredients, like there are so many things in it that you don't need when bread, you only need about like what, four or five ingredients, sometimes even less depending on like what kind of bread you're making. But we're going to need these life skills because you never know one day you're, you're going to like if you have these things, if you have these skills and then you have the stuff stocked up to make it, you can have supply and you can have food for yourself and your family for years to go. So like say and, and that even goes with starting your own garden, because when you home grow everything like non GMO heirloom seeds, you know where they're coming from, you know how you take care of them. Um, and there's natural ways like I know people think, oh, what about the bugs? Because um, I don't want to use any chemicals on my garden, but there is natural ways you can do it. So like, um, there's something called neem oil, it's a kind of oil, but they use it in a spray like they dilute it with water. And they spray that on their plants to keep the bugs away because they don't like the smell of that. Um, but also, if you are looking into gardening, you can look at, um, like, just Google companion planting. And what that means is, um, so, like, let's say I'm growing tomatoes. And there are certain herbs and plants, like flowers and stuff, that can keep bugs away from that specific crop. So, like, you would plant certain things together. So, uh, for example, for tomatoes, you would plant basil next to it because the bugs that are attracted to tomatoes, they're, they don't like the smell of basil. So, there's natural ways to grow produce without having to use chemicals. Um, and what else? It was something else. Um, what was it? Yeah, just read the ingredients when you guys are grocery shopping. Like, I know you'll you'll start to go grocery shopping when you start really paying attention to um, the ingredients. You'll be like, well, I can't eat anything because everything has stuff in it. But there, what is that app called? There's an app. There's Trash apps. Panda. Yeah, Trash Panda. It'll tell you the things that are bad in it and if it's good or not. But even things like... Because now I know they're trying to make stuff look healthy and look appealing, but it's really not because you look on the back and it's like, it's not really what it says it is. Like there was something I bought, I can't remember what it was, but it said vegan and I can't remember what it was. And I looked on the back of it and it said it contains um, like eggs or something. I don't know. But also um, stay away from, if you can, artificial flavors because artificial flavors and natural flavoring is not really natural flavoring. 
I seen a scientist break it down. Like they showed them in their lab how they get natural flavorings. Um, what they do is, and it's really hard to describe because I'm not a science person, so I don't really know how to explain it, but I'm going to try. So they take, they they put a needle inside of or, like an orange. Let's say they're trying to get the orange flavoring. They'll put a needle inside of the orange and they'll extract it and then they'll run tests through it to see like what are the genetic makeups of an orange, like the flavoring. And then they will then recreate that with their own. It's really hard to describe it. Mm -hmm. So then that's why when you eat like fruit snacks and stuff and it'll have like orange flavor, banana flavor, cherry flavor, whatever. The reason why it doesn't ever taste it like you can tell it's an artificial taste, like like a universal artificial taste. For example, like banana. I know you guys know like that taste. They're getting it in the lab, and then they're saying like natural flavors because they're using it from. I don't know how to describe it. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. I, I don't know if that makes sense to you guys, but um, you just have to do your research because the way that they um advertise things on boxes and packages in the grocery store is they they're trying to figure out what's a way where they're not completely telling the truth but they can get you to buy it so like um i saw another video where it was like um certain ice creams that you buy you can't even the reason why some of the boxes don't say ice cream it'll say frozen dessert or dairy dessert is because it doesn't even contain enough ice cream like actual ice cream like actual milk and stuff it'll have all this other stuff added into it so they so like by law they can't call it ice cream they have to call it frozen dessert um so you just got to be careful because there's so much i feel like we're gonna have to start knowing how to make our own Cause that, that's what I've been doing, like making my own pasta sauce instead of buying it at the store and making my own, I don't know, whatever, I, whatever it is that I can make that I usually buy, I try to look up how to make it. And yes, it takes longer. And yes, you have to like buy those fresh ingredients, but there's ways to preserve it naturally. Um, and I would just would rather know where my food crumb comes from and what's in my food than, I mean, they're coming out with lab grown meat now. So that is like. It's just crazy because of, I feel like within the span of 10 years, the food industry has changed drastically. Like 10 years ago, I, I, I was not this worried about the food and what they're putting in our food. But um, yeah, we just need to be careful and try to try to ask the Lord to guide you on like how to start growing your own food. Even if it's just a couple of things, like if you know you, you love eating bell peppers you love cooking with bell peppers just grow some bell peppers I'm see i'm a uh again like i said i'm a um try to break this down in the way again like i said where it's easy for y'all to understand now obviously y'all y'all heard you know most of the stuff that she said you know what i'm saying um but this is this is what I, this is something else that I want y'all to understand too right here. Okay. So right now we're in the season of Joseph. I'm going to tell you exactly what I mean. You're probably saying how we in the season of Joseph. Okay. Well, this is what I want you to, I want you to think about it. First of all, what happened with Joseph? Joseph, he was in a famine. Okay. Let me tell you how the body of Christ is about to operate. Right now, what I'm saying, we is being brought before Pharaoh. And fa uncommon favor is coming on to us right now. Because, huh? When it, come, when it came to Joseph, if you think about it, this is exactly how it went. When it came to Joseph, Joseph was forgotten about. His brother sold him into slavery. He was in the, the prison for 10 years and he finally got out. And then this happened. He was brought before the Pharaoh because he had so much wisdom. 
he was he was a dreamer he would get dreams okay so this is what i want y'all to understand when it come to y'all what you got to understand is this right here this is how the lord jesus christ is about to operate in the midst of a famine god is going to use us to be a blessing to others he's going to use us to be a blessing to other people he's going to use us to show other people how things are supposed to operate You're probably saying what do you mean okay i'm gonna give you a perfect example we about to have an abundance in the midst of a famine because a famine is coming that's why the lord's saying stock up on food water guns ammunition you know what i'm saying what's a gun without a bullet um a chicken coop learning how to garden growing your own food instead of relying on other people relying on grocery stores relying on the government because a lot of the stuff that they're putting in the food is not healthy for you at all it has no type of health benefit for you whatsoever okay so this is what i'm trying to explain to you in the midst of this famine this is what god is doing god is using us to help bless others that's not going to have much during this famine because this famine it's real and it's going to take place and it's going to catch a lot of people by surprise and it's going to be an unexpected storm for a lot of non-believers thus says the holy spirit thus says the spirit of the living god it's going to be a storm but in the midst of a storm the, the rain is going to rain watch this the lord show me the scripture it rained on the just and on the unjust but this rain is going to be different because this rain is going to be an abundance for us but this rain is going to be a tidal wave of chaos for unbelievers see that's why the lord been telling us prepare 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 get ready get ready get ready is everybody gonna heed the warning of the lord no is everybody gonna heed the word of the lord no not everybody is gonna listen to what the lord is saying that's why in the bible it talks about you try the spirit by the spirit you test the spirit you test to see what the lord is saying what the lord is speaking to you today not every not everything can be trusted if they're growing food well, okay i'm gonna give you a perfect example okay i don't know if y'all seen I know y'all seen Jurassic Park. Elon Musk, he trying to build a Jurassic Park. He legit, he legit about to build one. And this is the thing, how did they do the day? They grew the stuff in the labs and they did it with the mosquitoes. They did it, they did the stuff with the DNA, all that type of stuff. And see, this is the thing. What I want y'all to understand is this right here. God is not a man that he should lie, but also God is doing everything that he need to do okay so what you got to understand is this in this season god said if you build it in this season he gonna bless it if you build it in this season he gonna bless it that garden bed the garden that you're trying to build the kingdom business the entrepreneur whatever it is whatever it is that you're trying to build in this season god is gonna bless it that's what you got to realize that's what you got to know acknowledge and recognize that's what you got to know and I keep saying like um like leaves and, 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 and fruit. Watch this. Even when it come to trees, did okay, if you go to Home Depot, they got lemon trees, they got apple trees, they got blueberry trees, you know what I'm saying? You don't have to start a, a tree from scratch. You can get like a little small baby tree and it'll grow. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people say, well, I don't want to, I don't want to plant nothing because it's going to take forever. Well, it being, being completely honest with you, it's going to get to a point. You, 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 you really going to have to do that regardless. If, regardless, if it take long or not, because this is the thing. When you eat something that came out the oven, it's going to taste good, but it take longer to make. If you take, if you eat something that come out the microwave, it ain't really going to taste as good, but it's quick. That lab grown meat, why you think they doing it? The GMOs, why you think they're doing it? They inject the stuff, it get bigger, it look nicer, it looks stronger, it look healthy. It look healthy on the outside, but on the inside, it got all these bad ingredients that's bad for your health. Watch this, and this is how I know the Lord is speaking. Genetically modified organisms, that's what GMOs stand for. These same GMOs, when you eat this, when you eat this food, it changes your DNA. It's all it's gene altering DNA inside the food, and when you consume it, it changes your own dna that's why the lord is telling us stay away from gmos in this season because gmos is of the devil i don't care what nobody say gmos is of the devil god did not make genetically modified organisms same thing with artificial intelligence who made that not not god man made that 
Watch this. Did you know it's a correlation between GMOs and artificial intelligence? It's a correlation because man made it, not God. Mm-hmm. Watch this. What what these scientists is doing with the food and all that is it's uh it's gene editing. That's manipulation. Okay, that's what they did in Jurassic Park. They was they could see when you get a dinosaur, when you get a dinosaur uh like the bones and stuff, sometimes they don't have all the bones to fill it. So sometimes what they do, they take in, in Jurassic Park, what they did, they said, we're going to find an ancestor of a dinosaur. So they took DNA from a chicken, DNA from a lizard, and they filled it in. They filled in the gaps. So they bridged the gap. And what happens was they was able to recreate a dinosaur, but it didn't look exactly like what it's supposed to look like way back when. Okay. Gene editing, the, the GMOs. It's the same thing that happened when the fallen angels came down and they had sex with the women. They was manipulating the genes. That's why when they, when the things was born in Nephilim, they was so big, they was so massive. It's because these was never intended to ever walk on this earth, and that's what happened. That that's when rebellion happened. That's when rebellion happened. That's when this stuff happened. And again, that's what people fail to realize. That's what people fail to realize. So again, my message to y'all, my message to everybody understand what the lord is doing know what god is doing know what god is doing god is not saying you can't let me explain something to you you shouldn't be upset that you have to eat healthy too you shouldn't be upset that you have to eat healthy it should be joy because see let me let me explain something to you i noticed that when i started eating healthy i would feel better throughout the day i had more energy i didn't feel sluggish I didn't have the itis. You know, you, you know, she told me, she said, when you eat food, you're not supposed to feel tired after. You know what I'm saying? You're supposed to feel energized. She told me back in the day when people ate food, they didn't eat the food because they wanted it to taste good. They just ate the food because they knew it was healthy. That's how you that's how you're supposed to eat. And it's good for their body. That's and it's and it's it's good, it's good for it's good for the body. You know what I'm saying? That's what people gotta realize. It's good for the body. That's what people got to know. Okay. So it gets to a point where you got to make a decision for yourself. And you got to say, you know what? I'm just going to do what the Lord wants me to do. And I'm going to eat healthy. Because eating healthy it has benefits. Even watch this. People think, oh, when you fast, you just fast for the Lord. But people don't realize even fasting, they got benefits for you. For your health. You know what I'm saying? I feel like, you know, you got something to say, so you, you know. Um, well, another thing I wanted to say was um, this word is for everybody, but specifically, um, America is probably the main people that needs to hear this because American food versus if you were to travel outside of the country and get food there – it's completely different and it's sad because uh, okay I'll give you an example so I watched this girl's video she was vlogging and she um she I think she said she normally has like a normal diet she just eats um mostly fruits and vegetables and stuff like that but she was traveling so she's she was from I think she might have been from Jamaica or something I can't remember but she traveled to the U.S. on a trip for like vacation or something and she ordered a fruit tray um and she got so sick and she ended up in the hospital and she said it tasted completely different than any fruits that she's ever had like she was so horrified because of the the food that she ate and it made her sick and she was she was like crying in the video saying this is a warning and I can't remember what she was saying, but she was like crying. Like, I do not want anybody to eat this stuff. I don't know what this stuff is. I don't know why they put this in you guys' food. She was just like, it was so crazy because I could see how it really affected her. And she probably never will come back to America again. But it's sad because food in other countries Versus here, the U.S., we know that the U.S. is all about money. All they care about is money and business and, 
yeah, money. So all the food chains, all the food industry people, all the restaurants, they do what they do because of money, not to nurture people's body. Nine times out of ten. And okay. Okay, sorry about that. Um, when you go to other countries, you will go you will go down the streets and see that they have apple trees, plum trees, pear trees, um, all types of stuff growing there that you could just pick and eat because food is food. Food that food like food grows and it's free. It should be free. Like people should be able to have access to it, no problem. But when you come to America, they cut down all the trees. They don't let you, like, do too much with the land that you own or, like, I'm sorry, the land that you don't own. It's like if you're renting somewhere, you have to ask permission to get, like, certain trees put up. And it's just, it's just like there's no freedom when it comes to that because they want everything so they want everything a certain way. Like you go down the streets everywhere, every city, every state, and you don't see regular stuff just growing around. Why is that? Because they turn the all the lands into cities and then they chop down all the good trees and they just put up like commercialized trees, like stuff for decoration, stuff just to look pretty uh, in, in neighborhoods. But it's like, why can't they plant pear trees and stuff like that? It's because they care about money and they want to sell those things instead of just having them grow naturally. And there's plenty of other places that, like, their food is, is just completely different. Even when it comes to, like, medical, America is all about money. So, like, we have to pay for medical, but everybody else, like, all the other countries don't. Because here in America, everything is about money. And it's sad because what makes you think that they care about your health over money, over selling stuff off of the shelves, over fast food restaurants, just getting their money quick and fast because they're they're giving you fast food. They're giving you food that's like really low quality and really just has a bunch of additives and is barely even like you go to McDonald's and that hamburger is barely even a hamburger. Um, but people are so used to it and they're so used to it like, oh, this tastes like this tastes like real food. This tastes normal because for so many years we get so used to it because we're eating it every day. Well, we don't. But I'm saying like I'm speaking in general uh, because I have a lot of people in my family, too, who um, are big on like fast food and stuff. But you get you're so adapted to the taste that you don't even realize that you're putting so much poison into your body. And so, um, yeah, even when it comes to, like, for example, okay, the fruits, the, the, the appeal that they're doing, they're doing that because if they can keep stuff longer on the shelves to where they don't go bad, they're not bruised up and stuff because they know that people are not going to want to buy it after it looks like that. So I even seen, like... I don't know if you guys know this, but there are certain fruits and vegetables that are that go in season and out of season. So like they shouldn't be a year round thing, depending on where you live, I guess. But um, I've seen places take strawberries that were not fully grown, like before strawberries all the way ripen, they're white, they're like, like kind of white. But then once they're all the way ripe, the red it's red, but also the flesh inside of it is red. So now they are putting stuff in strawberries to make them ripe. Instead of ripening it on their own, they're making it 
they're making the outer shell turn. I don't know if this makes sense. So like if you cut into the strawberry, the inside will still be white and the outside will be red. And you'll be like, why does this not taste as sweet? This doesn't taste like, you know, strawberries that I've had in the past. It's because they're trying to figure out a way they can make more money using more using more fruits and produce and stuff. If everything was natural and you went into the grocery store to buy produce, you would have like bruised up apples and you would have stuff that's like going bad because natural stuff goes bad over time. But when you then tamper with it and you inject it with stuff and you put coatings and wax coatings around it and stuff, yeah, it's keeping the food on shelf longer, but you're consuming that stuff in your body. So what is it, what is it doing in your body? Um, yeah, and then people want to like, never mind, I don't want to go there. Um, yeah, just, you just got to do your research because you're not going to, it's not going to be out there for you to just find it because they don't want us to know about these types of things. So you really have to dig deep. And um, when he was talking about the fish, I saw somebody said um, wild caught fish is the best. Yes, wild caught fish is the best because um, they just get those wildly caught in the sea. But there are places, there's, they call them fish farms, and that's where they breed the fish. And they, I've seen it was like this big giant pool of fish. It was like salmon. And... It was so many fish in there that you could barely see the water and they keep them in there. And so you got some fish that were dying inside of there and they weren't because they're big giant farms. They're like, they're like big, like people are, are doing that just to sell the fish. So they're not really paying attention to, oh, this fish is dead. We need to hurry up and get it out the water so it doesn't contaminate the rest of the fishes. They don't do that. And so they end up like eating some of the fish like the fish eat each other and then they get parasites in them and then they like don't clean out the pools and stuff and it's just you just got to do your research and um read the packages on things like like okay if you are eating meat and stuff try to go for pasture raised um eggs and chicken and stuff like that instead of just you know, ones that don't say that because you know that it's free reign. It's like, um, I don't know how to describe it. I'm sorry, my words. Um, just be more, be more mindful of what you're putting in your bodies because we're supposed to be taking care of our bodies. And I know a lot of people will say, well, I just pray over my food and ask the Lord to bless it. Yes, we're supposed to pray over our food, but that's like me eating a bunch of stuff that I know is not bad for me, like something like a pack of Skittles that's banned in other countries that has like terrible ingredients in it. That's like me praying, Oh Lord, I pray that you just let this be, you know, nurture my body, but you're putting, you have to use wisdom as well because you don't want to keep putting poison in your body and then asking the Lord like, Oh, cover this food. You know, you're not supposed to eat it. So, um, just be careful because, you know, we pray over our food, too. Every every time we eat, we pray over our food. But we also have to be careful that we're not, you know, just consuming bad stuff all day. Because there are some people that will go the whole day eating meals and none of it was even one vegetable or, few, or fruit or, like, not even a bottle of water. Some people don't even drink water. I don't know how that's even possible, but some people really don't drink water. So um, pay attention to what you're putting in your body. Take care of your body because um, the Lord has given it to you and he's giving you life and he's giving you health. So take care of it so that you can be healthy longer. Did you want to say anything? Uh, so she she basically said, you know what I'm saying, majority of the stuff, um, you know, again, 
Just be careful about the food that you eat. You know what I'm saying? Um, you just got to continue to trust God. Trust God in every aspect of your life, even when, even when it come all the way down to food. Because as our Father, <laughs> you got to realize, God don't just care about if we reading the Bible and doing, he care about our daily lives. You know what I'm saying? Um, because that's that's what a father do. You know what I'm saying? Think about it, some people, they ain't never even heard the voice of the Lord. You know? Because they never took the time to seek him out. You know what I'm saying? Um, so yeah, listen to God when it come to your food. You know what I'm saying? Listen to God when it come to your food. And you know what's crazy, man? I feel like this um man, that's crazy. I feel like this it's like this conviction in my stomach is just sitting here. And this is for y'all. And I'm I'm gonna look, I watch this. I'm I'm gonna tell you. It's a burden that I have, and I and I'm feeling. The Lord has shown me all all y'all, a lot of y'all family members. They died from clogged arteries, from having too much grease. Uh, you know, in they in they arteries, I see heart problems, diabetes. You know what I'm saying? Watch this. You know, being and I ain't. I'm not calling nobody. I'm just saying. Being overweight, having unhealthy eating habits, that's actually a generational curse. That's a generational curse. That's a spirit. And watch this. That's a spirit of gluttony. A lot of y'all, y'all got to get the... And watch this. You can be skinny. You can be skinny and still deal with the spirit of gluttony. A lot of people don't know that. The thing is, God don't want us stuff on our face, but he also don't want us bone skinny. Go ahead. Well, you know, let me finish first. Um, again, God is the one that 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 uh, you know. He cares about what you eat. Cares about what's in your body. Always make sure you doing everything you can to, you know, what I'm saying, clean your temple, keep your temple clean. Like you know, I, I just feel like He just put this in my spirit. I'm I'm gonna give you a perfect example. See, and, I, and in this in this house, we don't drink pop. We don't drink pop. We don't drink soda. I, I never, I never, I didn't grow up drinking pop. I didn't, because that's literally, that's like just black chemicals in the drink, in the soda can. That's something that a lot of, the Lord want a lot of y'all to stop drinking in this season because it ain't healthy for you. It, it has no health benefits whatsoever. That fan of that orange, all that. It ain't, man, look, let me tell you something. This stuff disgusting, bro. And that stuff is a death sentence for you. I'm telling you right now. And the Lord's saying, give it up. Again, I see the same thing. The Lord calling a lot of y'all to do a Daniel fast. That's what he calling a lot of y'all to do. He calling a lot of y'all to do a Daniel fast. That's what he calling y'all to do. And I hear the Lord. Obey the words of the Lord. Be obedient to the voice of the Holy Spirit. Do that Daniel fast. If you feel led to, if the Lord calling you to do that. If not, he ain't got to. But you still need to be careful about what you're eating in this season. So I'm done. You can pray it out. So. Lord, I thank you for everybody on this line. I pray that everybody receive the things that you spoke through me and my husband. I pray that you cause people to pay attention to what they're eating and putting in their bodies because we know that you give us health and you give us life, but we know that we also have to use wisdom. I thank you for the revelation that you gave me and my husband earlier. Um, and I also pray that the food industry would stop putting the 
should be working on. Okay. And Lord, I come against everything that is in the food industry that is trying to poison us and harm us and harm our bodies. I pray that you protect us from it, and I pray that you make our food clean again. I pray that you protect not just us, but our children and everybody else because we're trying to stay healthy. And I pray, Lord, that you just help people start to be more mindful of what they're putting in their bodies and to eat more of the things that you put on this earth for us because we know in Genesis it says that you put those things for us to eat and that it was good. And I thank you for putting it on the earth for us because those are the things that are nutrients to our body. And I thank you for that, Lord. And I thank you for everybody on the live. In Jesus' name, amen.